today we mm -hmm. a lot to have a zero for you. This is with the space rock. Put the 10 of those, the spies. Welcome back to another edition of the vlog. And today we have the C250 again. So in the last vlog, we just installed the intake on this car, but now we might be able to put on spacers. We're gonna find out about that right now, but we're going to with Eric and he's gonna start up his Emo Red M3. So this thing has been sitting here because it needs some work, right? Yeah. <laughs> Remain seal. Remain seal? Is that pretty... So this thing is straight pipe. Right, straight pipe? Yeah. Eric here has actually three M3s now. So he has this one, he has a white one, and he just recently got an E46 wagon. So if you, there's another video kind of explaining the entire process that I put up a couple months ago, uh, I think a couple weeks or a couple months ago. Um, but we're gonna be able to see that car soon when it's finally finished getting painted and everything. So the, the thing is like, I was planning to get rims on this car, but it would only have to be after the wrap because I want to see how good it looks just by itself. I really like the, I do like the rims, but I just think they're a little bit too narrow for my taste. I like that big girthy look. And um, if you just look at it right here, it kind of, could stick out a lot more uh, just to give it that more aggressive stance. And plus, when you're driving the stock C250, this is a little bit tuned. I mean, if you can call it a tuned, but a little bit modified. But um, the stock C250 kind of feels like you're on stilts, like you're on really narrow tires. So when you're driving around, you don't really get that confidence to drive this car really fast around the corners because it doesn't have big, thick girthy tires that grip the road like for example this m3 right here can't wait till you know everything's kind of like in place i'm we're enjoying the journey transforming this thing but yeah just the front end itself the, the hood's open right now but front end looks so much better now and luckily this car had the led strip the 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 headlights with the led strip and everything it's not the halogen ones. <laughs> so in the rear here we actually have the 034 which are actually made for Audis, but they surprisingly fit the C250. And these things are five millimeters. So they're literally the size of something uh, I don't want to say. <laughs> something I see, don't want to say. Oh, <laughs> something you see every day. You know, you know how many inches is that in five millimeters? How much is that? I don't know. <laughs> Freaking small. <laughs> don't you have to put a thingy? What are you talking about? Oh, really? There's no like mounting, like you don't have to, you literally put the spacer in between and then oh, just, just oh, screw yeah. it in. It's just extended, it's an extended uh, Oh, bolt? Oh, yeah. yeah, bolt. It's Look at that, flush. it's flush. So this is the right side, this is with the spacer on. This is, this is without it. So you, are, you can see the line where the fender hangs over the wheel. The front, the front can probably do like a 20. And then it's here, it, the here, yeah, it's it, flush. It so Camera's in, yes. We just put it five know. here. And then now, in the front, I think we're gonna do a 15 because this thing is really in the body. Hey, so. you never know five, five mil makes that much of a difference. I didn't, I didn't, yeah, the five mil really made a huge difference. <laughs> even though it's, it's really the size of my, my pinky, like right there, like that. No, that's even what, less. That's what she said. <laughs> so here, if you look at this one, so here, it's so much in the fender, the, the tire, and even the rear too. You can't really see it that well. So this side doesn't have it yet, but this side. So all the parts right here. So this is a... Uh, Did we want to do 10 or 15? A 10. Let's start with a 10, I guess. So it looks Why not go big or go home? Go big or go home? All right, 20. That's what I was saying. That's why I say you put the 10 in the back. Go I'm just kidding. No, 10 is too much. Really? Yeah. You think so? I trust you. Eric is the professional. Well, Vince John's the professional. The, when you Vince look is the professional. Five is a lot. Holy bananas, what are those? Those 50 millimeters? No, those are 20s. How many bolts? Ah, oh, shoot. What happened? Look Doesn't at how big. the center bore on the wheel. Look at how big those muscles are. No, it's not that. It's the. The center hub doesn't fit this. Oh, I uh -oh. bought a, a, mm. a torque gun. And Milwaukee? Could, I couldn't, I couldn't uh, remove my nut. Oh, it is? Yeah. 
<laughs> you bought a gun and you couldn't remove your nuts. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. What are those? Uh, the center board doesn't freaking. Uh, the center board's too big. No. Oh, for the wheel? Yeah. Oh, because like if that. we had a flat one, it'd be okay. What if we just put a five on there? Another five? Another yeah, five. And just to yeah. push or it out a little fives. bit. No, 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 no. <laughs> oh my god. Yeah, that, this will work. Just to see what it looks like, I guess. Or at least a little bit better. You're saying the lip doesn't fit in. The, Is that yeah, the wheel won't sit? Up the to wheel the won't sit. The, this outer lip here, or this yeah. lip here. That's kind of dumb. Here. This is quite interesting. So instead of putting um, the tens, we're putting the fives, which still improves it somewhat. You can actually see the tire now versus the other side. So the other side again. Yeah. Oh jeez. Without the lip is dangerous. Oh, moment of truth. When the car is finally sitting on the ground. How does it look? I think the fives look perfect in the back. You're right. Oh, no, I think we can go more. Really? Yeah, let's do it now. <coughs> I like the girthier. The girthier, the better. I mean, it's, it's, it's pretty close. It's the rear pretty flush, is good. to be honest. Yeah. If you were to go more, you have to camber it in. You, do you think top. so? Because look, it's still a little bit above right here. I think like, if we went like seven mil. Yeah. Seven, seven or eight. You can't do like seven or eight. eight. And but, then same thing with the front here. I think we went seven or eight. Seven or eight? Can, no, yeah, it can go. go more. But like 10, the right? Lip, yeah, it won't fit, right? What yeah. do you mean a lip? Five or, is probably the only one that doesn't have a lip. Oh. On the spacer? Hmm. So you're stuck with five. So yeah. what do you guys think about having the spacer? So now <laughs> it sticks out a little bit more that's but on this side. Yeah, it's a very that's subtle that's difference. Uh, <laughs> definitely, yeah, definitely a subtle difference. I say you're you're probably going to see it more so in the front because the front six stays inside a little bit more but it's a nice upgrade to your car yeah see because it it sticks out now and then here not really so much hmm. that's why you might as well go big and go home and just go with the 10 right all right let's go <laughs> go with a 40 mil <laughs> i kind of like it looking beefy because it adds, it makes it more look more like an AMG. A little more meat. Yeah, a little bit more meat. A lot of meat, actually. Yeah, you can tell like it's off. It's not off. It's like off center now. <laughs> yeah. So what do you guys think? Uh, is it worth the money? Because spacers typically run about like what five hundred bucks for like a four set. A full set. For a full set. Everything? No, you're probably like two hundred thirty yeah. something max. Oh really? Yeah. Oh, hmm. so or, well. Sorry, for O thirty four. Just fantastic, which <laughs> technically shouldn't be fitting on your car. Yes. <laughs> which actually fits on the car. Well, surprisingly. only the five mil fits on your car. <laughs> but I mean, new rims for this car would cost around a thousand three hundred. So, I mean, you either. <laughs> what is happening back there? I was just trying to make <laughs> but yeah, so if you don't want to get new rims, definitely spacers is probably the more cost efficient way to go. They're factory ones, right? Mm -hmm. So. Let's say the factory ones are this length. Yeah. Adding a spacer, or, or let's say yeah, this much grabs longer. actually the the wheel mm -hmm. or the hub. Adding a five mil spacer pushes it out, and so maybe like only this much is grabbing your mm. the hub. So and we so need, it's not as safe. So we need longer uh, studs. Studs, longer studs, and then an actual proper uh, spacer that actually fits the car because the zero zero thirty four well, no, are Audis. The five mil fits. It's just, it was back. Yeah. Oh, we, we just bought out carpet testing. <laughs> this is five millimeter. Still seems pretty thick though. It's kind of small, but thick at the same time. So what do you guys think? Do you think it's worth the investment to do these? So we actually didn't put them on because it's, we actually don't have the, the what do you call this, the right bolt size, uh, right studs for, for this car. But five millimeter actually doesn't look that bad. It makes it look a little bit more beefy. But I think... In my opinion, I'd rather just save the money and get new rims that look pretty rad that stick out a lot better. But then that also means getting new tires and everything like that. So if you're trying to ball on the budget, this that doesn't make any sense at all. So probably spacers are the way to go. For this build, still debating whether or not to to go down which which route to go through. If it's only 300 bucks, it's not really a big deal so might want to do that but these rooms definitely need to be cleaned up because they got scuffed so 
so yeah thank you guys for watching this episode but let me know in the comments down below if you're gonna add spacers or new rims to your car and in a future video we'll go over what exact tire size and what rim size to get so that you know what to do to your car as well whether you want to get new rims or you want to get spacers too so definitely recommend if you're going to do spacers five millimeter in the back it still keeps it pretty flush you could probably bump it up to seven or eight at most 10 would really stick out too far and then in the front you can do tents thank you guys for watching this episode and i'll see you guys on the next one peace out man